Wanderlei Silva. Wanderlei César da Silva vem de Edarlei, Portuguese, Vaidled César da Silva, Japanese, Ban da, Ri Sai, W. Ba, born 3 July 1976, is a Brazilian American mixed martial artist who has competed in Japan's Pride Fighting Championships and the American based Ultimate Fight. He holds the record for the most wins knockouts title defenses, and longest winning streak in Pride history. He is the former Pride Midloweight champion and the 2003 Pride Midloweight Grand Prix Tournament champion. He most recently competed for the later MMA in the light heavyweight and heavyweight divisions. Mixed Martial Arts Career Early Career Silva's aggressive style is rooted in street brawling, refined with elements of Muay Thai and kickboxing which he began learning at the age of 13 in Shoot Box Academy in his hometown Curitiba. As a late teen he joined the Brazilian army and was quickly recognized for his fighting talents and rose up in the ranks. There he was asked to join Vale Tudo and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu school. Silva enlisted after already winning fight tournaments in his age group in Brazil. Silva would develop scar tissue around his eyes from fighting in bare knuckle veil tudo. Silva's first professional match was on 1 November 1996 in the bare knuckle Brazilian veil tudo fighting organization BVF, where he knocked out Dilson Filho via right elbow at BVF 6. He fought in one other match in BVF, BVF 10, on 1 July 1997 against Marcelo Barbosa who submitted due to a shoulder injury. Silva fought six matches in four different international Veil vale Tudo Championship events, IV2, IV6, IVC9, and IVC10, from 1997 to 1999. He won five of these matches by KO slash TKO, with his one loss being the result of a cut stoppage against Archer Mariano in the IVC2 show on 15 September 1997. Though Silva dominated Mariano with punches and knee strikes, the cut was above Silva's left eyelid and opened back up several times, partially because Silva continued to use the cut side of his head to inflict many headbutts on Mariano over the course of the match. The doctor observed the cut several times before the fight was ended. Silva culminated his IVC career by winning the promotion's cruiserweight belt with a submission win over Eugene Jackson in the IVC 10 show on 27 April 1999. It was after this fight that Silva earned the nickname the Axe Murderer. Silva participated in one Mecha World Veil vale Tudo event, Mecha 2, on 12 August 2000, where he knocked out Todd Medina with Mue Tainese. Ultimate Fighting Championship Silva entered the UFC on 16 October 1998 at UFC Brazil, Ultimate Brazil in a match against Vitor Belfort. The match was arguably the worst defeat of his career, lasting only 44 seconds, and ending with Silva being knocked down against the cage by Belfort's punches then being stopped by the referee. Silva won his next UFC match on 7 May 1999, at UFC 20, in which he knocked out Tony Petero with knees. On 14 April 2000, Silva fought for the UFC Light Heavyweight Championship, but lost via unanimous decision to Tito Ortiz at UFC 25. Pride Fighting Championships Silva debuted in Pride at the Pride 7 event on 12 September 1999 against Carl Adnai being better known as Carl Mayonko. Silva used his strength to control Mayonko from the ground, demonstrating his grappling expertise. Coming very close to securing a guillotine choke and a rear naked choke during round one, in addition to landing many powerful knees from the clinch. Silva continued to dominate Mayonko en route to a decision victory. This dominance would set the tone for Silva's career in the organization. From 1999 to 2004, Silva won 18 straight fights in pride, excluding a draw against Mirko Crow Cop under slightly modified rules in which if the match would go to the time limit, the bout would be declared a draw and a no contest against Gilbert Ivel Silva accidentally kicked Ivel in the groin, giving him a 20-fight unbeaten streak. 
Silva's reputation as a formidable MMA fighter grew as he developed a successful five-year win record in the middleweight division, 205 LB of pride. Silva fought Japanese superstar Kazeshi Sakuraba for the first time at Pride 13 collision course on 25 March 2001. Silva won by a TKO knees and soccer kick at 138 into the first round. At Pride 17 championship chaos on 3 November 2001, Silva won the inaugural Pride Midloweight 205 LB championship when he defeated Sakuraba for the second time. Sakuraba suffered a broken clavicle and was forced to withdraw after the first round, giving Silva a TKO win by a doctor's stoppage. The two fought for a third time on 10 August 2003 at Pride Total Elimination 2003, part of the Pride Midloweight tournament. Silva knocked out Sakuraba with a two-punch combination at 5-1 into the first round. Silva faced Quinton Rampage Jackson at Pride Final Conflict 2003 on 9 November 2003. Silva won by TKO after delivering 17 consecutive knees to Jackson. Silva became Pride's 2003 tournament champion with the win. The two fought again on 31 October 2004 at Pride 28 High Octane. Jackson knocked Silva down near the end of the first round and mounted him as the bell rang. In round two, Silva caught Jackson with a counter right hand and followed up with knees from the tie clinch, knocking Jackson out, successfully defending the Pride Midloweight Championship with the win. In Japan, Silva additionally gained his reputation as a fighter who has never been defeated by any Japanese opponent, resulting in a trend of various Japanese fighters being arranged by Pride to face him. Silva's undefeated five year streak 18 wins. 13 knockouts in Pride was broken by Simone heavyweight Mark Hunt, a Caymanis 1 champion on 31 December 2004 at the Pride Shockwave 2004 event. Hunt won the non-title match by split decision. The decision was controversial because some who felt that Hunt's weight of 280 LB 125 kg, over 80 LB more than Silva, as well as Silva's performance in rounds 2 and 3, had not been sufficiently considered by the judges in their decision, Randy Couture and Bass Rutten, both being commentators at the event, expressed disagreement. Silva also took this fight on two days' notice. Nonetheless, Silva's 2004 campaign earned him Fighter of the Year honors from both Sherdog and the Wrestling Observer newsletter. Silva's former status as Pride Midloweight champion first came under debate and criticism with his loss to Ricardo Arona, who subsequently lost the tournament to Silva's teammate, Mauricio Shagun Yue, on 28 August 2005 at Pride Final Conflict 2000. The loss, by unanimous decision in the tournament's semifinals, was Silva's first defeat in a middleweight match in Pride, however, since it was not a title fight, and held under special rules due to the Grand Prix format two rounds instead of three, Silva was still recognized as the middleweight champion. A rematch between Arona and Silva was scheduled to take place at the Pride Shockwave 2005 event on 31 December 2005. Mere minutes before the fight, Silva's teammate Cristiano Marcello had choked Charles Bennett unconscious in the locker room after a confrontation. Waking up, Bennett struck Silva with an elbow strike, knocking him down unconscious. Despite the incident, Silva went on to win the fight by split decision. On 18 May 2006, Pride's parent company, Dream Stage Entertainment DSC, announced that Silva would replace Pride heavyweight champion Fedor Emelianenko in the open weight Grand Prix. Emelianenko's doctors stated that his hand, which had recently undergone surgery, would not be in good enough shape to fight because the metal implant would still be present. Because Silva was also a champion, he received a first round bye and fought in the second round at Pride Critical Countdown Absolute, which took place on 1 July 2006. Silva moved to the semifinals of the Open Weight Grand Prix after defeating Kazuyuki Fujita by TKO punches and soccer kicks at 9, 21 of round 1. On 8 July 2006, at UFC 61, 
Bitter rivals UFC President Dana White announced Silva would face Chuck Liddell in a UFC event held in November, provided Liddell beat Renato Babalu Sabral at UFC 62. Liddell did end up winning that fight. However, talks dwindled and the fight as advertised did not happen. On 10 September 2006, at Pride Final Conflict Absolute, Wanderlei Silva was knocked out by Mirko Crow Cop in their rematch during the heavyweight Grand Prix semifinals. After a brief stoppage to tend to a swollen eye on Silva, Crow Cop struck Silva in the head with a left kick, knocking him out. On 21 October 2006 at Pride 32, the real deal, Wanderlei issued his challenge to Chuck Liddell to a fight inside a Pride ring in February. Silva put his Pride middleweight title on the line against Dan Henderson, Pride's welterweight 183 LB champion, at Pride 33, the second coming, held on 24 February 2007 in Las Vegas, Nevada. In a night of upsets, Henderson knocked out Silva in the third round with a left hook to become the new middleweight champion. Silva was denied the ability to participate in Pride 34 due to medical suspension by the Nevada State Athletic Commission in SAC, which made this his last Pride appearance. Silva almost never lost under pure Pride rules at 205 pounds. Return to the UFC On 17 August 2007, the UFC announced that they had signed Wanderlei Silva to compete in the organization and that he would return to the Octagon on 29 December 2007 at UFC 79. After months of speculation about Silva's opponent, UFC President Dana White announced that Chuck Liddell would be Silva's opponent for his return match. The long-awaited match happened on 29 December 2007 at UFC 79, with Silva losing to Liddell by unanimous decision. After the fight, Silva said, win or lose, I like to give the emotion for my fans. He also added that he gave his best and promised that next time he will deliver a win. Keeping to his promise, on 24 May 2008 at UFC 84 in Las Vegas, he earned a decisive KO win against Keith Jardine at the 36th second mark of the first round, earning him knockout of the night honors. When Jardine threw a kick, Silva countered with a right-left-right combo that dropped him. Silva then finished the fight with ground strikes to earn the knockout. At UFC 92, Wanderlei fought Quinton Jackson, who he had beaten twice previously in pride. Jackson avenged his previous defeats by knocking Silva out with a left hook in the first round. Following the fight, Silva indicated that he would like to face Jackson again in the future. Silva faced Rich Franklin at UFC 99 at a catchweight bout of 195 LB. After a hard-fought match on both sides, Silva lost by a unanimous decision to Franklin. During the second round, Silva rocked Franklin hard with punches and almost finished the fight during that moment. This was counterbalanced by Franklin dropping Silva three times in that round, each time with singular strikes. Silva then announced he would be out of action until 2010 as he underwent facial surgery. The surgery allowed him to breathe through a once completely blocked nose, thus increasing his oxygen intake by 30% by doctor's estimates. At UFC 110, announcer Joe Rogan emphatically stated that Wanderlei looked like a totally different person in the wake of his recent facial reconstructive surgery. Silva made his middleweight 185 LB debut during UFC 110 against Michael Bisping on 21 February 2010. During the fight, Bisping was able to take Silva down several times during the first round. However, Wanderlei came back with a flurry of punches at the end of the first round, a tight guillotine choke in the second, and a right hook that dropped Bisping in the third. After three rounds of fighting, Silva was awarded the unanimous decision victory 29-28, 29-28, and 29-28 and his first victory in almost two years. Although winning only one of his previous six bouts, he was slightly favored going into the fight as it was widely speculated that Bisping was apprehensive to fight toe-to-toe -to -toe after being viciously knocked out by Dan Henderson on 11 July 2009 in UFC 100. After the fight, 
An emotional Silva told the audience in your life you have bad moments. Everybody has bad moments, but if you believe in God and working hard, good moments they'll come. Silva attributed his success to working with his previous trainer, Rafael Cordero. This being added, Wanderlei is a great opponent. I felt the reason he got the decision was the knockdown right at the end. Silva was expected to face former Caymanis One Hero's light heavyweight champion Yoshihiro Ekiyama at UFC 116. However, on 22 June, Silva had to pull out due to breaking three ribs during training. Ekiyama would instead be fighting on the card against Chris Levin. After Levin defeated Ekiyama with a triangle choke in the third round, Levin verbally called out Silva saying, Come on, Wanderlei. I'll take you out too in his post-fight interview. He represented very well. He's a good opponent, said Silva of the Crippler. I think if he's gonna wait, then I'm gonna fight him next. However, Dana White has not considered a Silva slash Levin fight happening anytime soon. Silva underwent knee surgery in late July 2010 and his doctors had stated that he would need to wait at least four months before returning to training. This meant that he would not be seen fighting in the octagon again until early 2011. Silva was scheduled to face Brian Stan at UFC 130. However, after Silva voiced his reluctance to face Stan, he was replaced on the card by returning UFC veteran George Santiago. On 4 April 2011, the UFC announced that Silva's next opponent would be Chris Levin with the two scheduled to meet at UFC 132. On 2 July 2011, during the fight's first round, Levin won by KO with several uppercuts before following Silva to the ground for a referee's stoppage at the 27-second mark. When Dana White was asked about his thoughts on Wanderlei's possible retirement, he said he felt it would be the best time for Wanderlei to retire, but in the end it is up to whether Wanderlei himself would like to fight again. Silva would fight again after replacing an injured Vitter Belfort against former Strike Force middleweight champion Kong Le at UFC 139. Le managed to confuse Silva with his unorthodox kicks and landed a spinning backfist that dropped Silva. During the second round, Silva managed to shake Le with huge punches and knees that completely broke Le's nose. Le was stunned, bloody, and fell to the ground and the fight was stopped by the referee. Afterwards, in the press conference, Dana White commented that it was a good stoppage and that Kung was taken to the hospital. Silva and Vitter Belfort coached the ultimate fighter. Brazil, a rematch with Belfort was expected to take place on 23 June 2012 at UFC 147, but due to a broken hand, Vitter Belfort had to withdraw from the match. Silva faced Rich Franklin in a 190 LB catchweight at the event. Franklin and Silva fought once before at UFC 99, where Franklin won via unanimous decision. Despite Silva nearly finishing Franklin in the second round, the result was the same when the pair met for a second time at UFC 147, where Franklin again won by unanimous decision 49-46. In an interview with Sherdog asking about his future, Silva said, I want to either fight a catchweight bout at 198 pounds 90 kg, or at light heavyweight. At middleweight, I'm very hungry laughs. Right now, I'm doing weight training and some shadow boxing. I'm kind of on vacation now, paying attention to the family, but next year the one. The fight was notable as it was Silva's return to the Saitama Super Arena, where Pride FC ran the majority of its shows. Silva defeated Stan via KO in the second round in a bout that featured back and forth action and earned both participants' fight of the night honors. On 22 October 2013, it was announced that Silva will be coaching the ultimate fighter, Brazil 3 against longtime rival Kale Sonnen. A bout with Sonnen briefly attached to UFC 173, then at the ultimate fighter, Brazil 3 finale was expected to take place on 5 July 2014 at UFC 175. Dana White later stated the fight had to be moved back when Silva injured his hand and back during a brawl with Sonnen that took place during filming of the show. Silva was ultimately pulled from the fight entirely after he failed to submit an application to fight in the state of Nevada 
as well as his refusal to undergo a random drug test, and was replaced by Vitter Belfort. On 10 June 2014, it was later reported that Kael Sonnen failed a drug test and would not be allowed to fight on UFC 175 card. As a result of the failed drug test, Sonnen announced his retirement from the sport the following day. As a result of his refusal to submit to the drug tests, Silva was given a lifetime ban and a $70,000 fine by the Nevada State Athletic Commission at their meeting on 23 September 2014. In May 2015, Judge Kerry early overturned the lifetime ban that was imposed on Wanderlei Silva by the Nevada State Athletic Commission. In January 2016, following an apology to the UFC about their fight fixed a.k.a. fight fixing and retracting his statement, he was released from his UFC contract. This will allow him to do whatever he wants with his career. Risen FF Subsequent to his ban, Silva competed in a tag team grappling match with Kiyoshi Tamura against former opponent Kazushi Sakuraba and Hideo Takoro at an event on 17 April 2016 for startup regional promotion Risen. The official result of the match was deemed a draw. In July 2016, it was announced that Silva would return to mixed martial arts competition in Japan as part of Risen's 16-man open weight tournament. Silva was scheduled to face Mirko Krokop in a trilogy bout on 29 December in the Risen open weight quarterfinals. However, on 2 December, Silva withdrew from the bout citing injury. The later MMA, MMA, MMA. In early March 2016, Bellator MMA announced that Silva had signed a multi-fight contract with the organization. The previous lifetime ban handed down by the Nevada State Athletic Commission was reduced to a three-year suspension retroactive to 24 May 2014. He was eligible for reinstatement beginning 25 May 2017. The ban would not prevent Silva from competing at Indian casinos or in Japan. After four years away from the sport, Silva made his delayed, the later debut against Kale Sonnen in the main event at the later NYC on 24 June 2017. Silva lost a unanimous decision. On 25 June 2018, the later MMA announced that Silva would face Rampage Jackson in a fourth match on 29 September 2018 at the later 206. He lost the fight by a technical knockout in round two. On September 29, 2019, news surfaced that Silva's contract with Bellator had expired. Fighting Style Silva is famous for his brutal, relentless style of Muay Thai, which was described as being furl and carrying a terrifying ferocity. His main strength on the ring lays in his offensive striking skills, which see him overwhelming his adversaries with hooks, knee strikes, soccer kicks, and stomps as well as willingly taking any counter shot in order to continue landing his own hits. He is also excellently skilled in attacking from the clinch and in his prime in using low kicks and effective jabs. Depending on the rule of set, and even in non-allowing ones, which brought some controversy, Silva was also known for his usage of headbutts. Though his grappling expertise was initially considered inferior to his striking skills due to his preference for ground and pound, he enjoys a refined Brazilian jiu-jitsu transitional game. Personal Life Silva and his wife have a son, Thor. He has a daughter from a previous relationship. On 26 August 2012, Silva's father, Rolando Pinero da Silva, died in a car accident in Brazil. In April 2016, Silva became an American citizen. After years of living in the United States, Silva moved back to his hometown, Curitiba, in Brazil. In 2018, Silva admitted that he has been bearing symptoms consistent with chronic traumatic encephalopathy and has expressed a wish to donate his brain for research. On October 8, 2020, Sem Colhura, a Portuguese biography book about Silva, was published. Wand Fight Team Wand Fight Team is a mixed martial arts training organization headed by Wanderlei Silva. 
It was founded in 2009 in Las Vegas with a former franchise in Pensacola, Florida. The Las Vegas location features several famous MMA instructors, including Leandro Lorenco, BJJ Michael Costamue, Thai and MMA, Pete Martin, Kids Wrestling and Fitness, and Eric Perez Fitness. Championships and Accomplishments Mixed Martial Arts Ultimate Fighting Championship Fight of the Night Five Times Knockout of the Night Two Times Pride Fighting Championships Pride Middleweight Championship One Time First First Two Thousand Three Pride Middleweight World Grand Prix Championship Two Thousand Five Pride Middleweight World Grand Prix Semifinalist Two Thousand Six Pride Openweight World Grand Prix Semifinalist Soccer Championship Belt Winner First Fighter in Pride Fighting Championships History to Win a Pride Championship and Pride Grand Prix Most Wins in Pride FC History 22 Longest Undefeated Streak in Pride FC History 20 Most Knockouts in Pride FC History 15 Tied Mirko Crow Cop for Most Finishes in Pride FC History 16 Most Successful Title Defenses in Pride FC History 4 most successful title defenses in the history of Pride FC Middleweight Division 4. Most consecutive successful titles defenses in Pride FC History 4. Most consecutive successful title defenses in the history of Pride FC Middleweight Division 4. International Veil Tudo Championship. IVC Light Heavyweight Championship one time. Wrestling Observer Newsletter. 2001 Feud of the Year vs. Hizashi Sakuraba, Akuraba, 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 Hizashi Sakuraba, Akuraba, 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 Akuraba. 2001 Most Outstanding Fighter. 2. 2003 Fight of the Year vs. Kaitako Yashida on 9 November. 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 2004 Fight of the Year vs. Quinton Jackson on 31 October. 2004 Most Outstanding Fighter. Sports Illustrated. 2004 Knockout of the Decade vs. Quinton Jackson on 31 October 2004. MMA Fighting Com. 2004 Light Heavyweight of the Year. 2013 Best Fight of the Half Year vs. Brian Stan. Sure Dog. 2004 Fighter of the Year. Mixed Martial Arts Hall of Fame. World MMA Awards. 2018 Lifetime Achievement. Mixed Martial Arts Record Submission Grappling Record Filmography Books Wanderlei Silva Semcolura BB Editor 8 October 2020 ISBN 978-85-62716-850